Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, May 13th. It's the seventh week in Easter and week six in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 102. And Matthew chapter 9, verse 9 to 17. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts to the tune of Old 100 and with the Easter Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our God is good, our God is kind, whose grace is great and mercy sure, and the whole race of humankind. God's truth from age to age endure. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, hear my prayer, O God. Let my cry come before you. Hallelujah, Psalm 102. Hallelujah, hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me when I am in trouble. Incline your ear to me and answer me quickly. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like coal in a hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and watch. I am like a lonely sparrow upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day, and they that hate me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread and mingled my drink with tears. Because of your indignation and your wrath, you have lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that fades, and I am withered like grass. But you, O God, shall endure forever, and your remembrance to all generations. You shall rise and have mercy upon Zion, for now is the time to favor her. For your servants take pleasure in her stones, and even love her dust. And so the heathen shall fear your name, and all the rulers of the earth your glory, when you shall build up Zion and appear in your glory. You will regard the prayer of the destitute, and not despise their plea. This shall be written for the generations to come, so that the people yet unborn may praise you. For you have looked down from the height of your sanctuary. From heaven you behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to free those that are condemned to death, to declare your name in Zion and your praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together and the nations to serve you. You weakened my strength on the way and shortened my days. O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the world, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall endure. All of them shall wear out like a garment. Like clothing you change them, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their children shall be established before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Hallelujah.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, beginning at verse 9. Now, as Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Then the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees often fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunken cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wine skins. Otherwise, the skins burst and the wine is spilled and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wine skins and so both are preserved. Here ends the lesson. Let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Unchanging and ever-living God, we praise you for your resplendent glory. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, and glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.